special day for me because not only are we here to talk about an issue that is near and dear to my heart, the ratification of the free trade agreements with our wonderful democratic allies, Colombia and Panama, but on a personal note, it is my press, is my first press conference with my much older legislative brother, <laughs> Mario Gilmore. So congratulations, Mario. Now, no, it is, it is mind-boggling and, and mind-numbing for, uh, for Mario and I uh, to see how uh, some mistreat our strong, free, democratic allies, Colombia and Panama, and then look to reward the Castro regime by advocating lifting the embargoes with no restrictions, uh, it's a world turned upside down. As Mario has said, Colombia has extradited more than 600 narco traffickers to stand trial in courts here in the United <coughs> States. It has deployed troops to Afghanistan to train special counter-narcotics police units. I have been to Colombia where they have a jungle school where they train the soldiers of Afghanistan to fight the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. I was there with the president of Colombia. Uh, Colombia has pulled off one of the most dramatic uh, and important hostage rescue operations a while ago. You remember when we say, they say three Americans from certain death. It has strengthened civil society. It has strengthened democratic institutions. But some refuse to acknowledge these efforts and they will not ratify an agreement that has been pending on Nancy Pelosi's desk for more than three years. The case of Panama. I had the opportunity of visiting Panama a month ago with our Republican leader, Congressman John Boehner. We met with the President, Martinelli. We met with the members of the parliament we had the opportunity to speak to members of civil society, the business community. Panama is a strong, democratic U.S. ally surrounded by anti-democratic forces uh, throughout Latin America. Panama can continue to be a strong friend for the United States. What is the U.S. response to that friendship? No ratification of the uh, free trade agreement, even though it will advance our national security interest, it will improve our economy more than it would improve Panama's and more than it would improve Colombia. Let me just say a few words uh, in Spanish. 